This is Angie with Reading Corner Online. Today we're going to work on a literacy story. And for this activity, you're going to need to cut out your picture cues. You're also going to need to cut out your sight words. We're going to fill in the missing blanks. Can you help me? So our first sentence in our literacy story, see if you can follow along. It says, I can run. Do you like to run? Which picture cue do you think I should put up? I've got a picture of a little boy maybe running but I think he's leaping or jumping and I've got a picture of a little girl running. Do you want to try running? Go ahead, stand up. Let's run in our places. Are you ready? I think we figured out which picture cue we need. Go ahead and take the picture of the little girl running and stick it into our missing picture cue. Just like this. Oh, now it all makes sense. There's our picture cue. Let's see if we can read it again. I can run. You did it. Good job. Okay, are you ready for the second sentence? You'll notice that I is down here again. So you already know how to say this one. I, there's the same sight word, can. Mm. What does this say? It starts with a O, oh, O. Oh. Leap, did you say leap? Good for you, kiss your brain. I can leap. Well, remember that picture of the little boy? I think he was leaping. Is this the right picture cue? Let's stand up and see if we can leap. Wow. Ready? Is that what you did? Good job. Let's stick our picture cue down under our second missing picture cue. You did it. Good job. Let's read it again. I can leap. Good job. You'll notice our I sight word is in the third sentence again. And our can sight word is in our third sentence. I can. Goodness. How are we going to read this without our picture cue? Well, I know that the S makes the s, s sound. Can you do that with me? S, s. Good job. W, M, swim. Let's see if we can find the picture cue of a swimmer. Well, I've got two picture cues here. I've got a little boy. Wow, it looks like he's swimming underwater. Can you do that? And I've got a little girl climbing. I think this is our swim picture, don't you think? All right, let's glue our swim picture cue beside the room swim. Wow, we just made three sentences together. I'm so proud of you. Let's read it again with our picture cue. I can swim. You did it. Okay, are you ready for our fourth sentence? We only have two picture cues left. And you'll notice our I sight word is here and our can sight word is here. Oh my goodness, how are we gonna read this word without our picture cue? Let's see if we can sound out the C. C makes two sounds. It says S and K. Well, if you remember the hint I gave you just a second ago, that little girl was climbing, right? I think maybe that's the right picture cue. Let's see. We've got one little girl climbing. Climbing starts with k, which is one of the sounds that C makes. And this little person looks like maybe they're jumping in puddles. And j, jump makes this sound, j. 
So, I think it's climb. Let's glue the little girl climbing right here on the fourth missing picture cue. Oh my goodness. Well done. We've just read four sentences together. Kiss your brain. Good job. Okay, our last sentence on this side with missing picture cues. We already know our sight word I. We already know our sight word can. And there's only one picture cue left. It starts with a J. J makes this sound. J. Can you make that sound with me? J. Good job. This little girl is jumping. Do you like to jump in puddles? I want you to stand up right now and take a big jump. Pretend you've got your rain jacket on and your rain boots. Are you ready? Pretend there's a big puddle. Just pretend. Ready? Jump. Good job. All right, let's glue our last picture cue down. Well done. I can jump. Just like you. Good job. Now over here, oh my goodness, we have picture cues, but we're missing sight words. What are we gonna do? Gosh, I'm really gonna need your help. Can you help me? Thank you. Okay. So I can tell that we have we as our sight word, and it's our first sight word in our sentence. We've got picture cues, so I think we can figure out what the words are. Let's see if we can read it. This one says, we. I have it already cut out, do you? I think maybe we goes right here. Let's add it. Here's my tape. We. L-I-K-E says like. This is a big word. It starts with the letter B. B says B. Can you make that sound with me? The letter B. B. Good job. And our picture cue is bunnies. Let's read it together. We like bunnies. Good for you. Our next sentence, we already know this word. We just learned it, didn't we? We, but we have a missing sight word. What are we gonna do? Well, if we look up and if we look down, the word L-I-K-E, like, is there. So I think that's the missing sight word, don't you? All right. And what are these little guys? What are they called? They're little chicks, aren't they? They're little chicks. Let's stick our missing sight word down. L-I-K-E says like. Can you read the sentence with me? We like we did it. I'm gonna let you finish the rest of these at home. You've got two missing sight words, and I'm pretty confident that you can finish it at home. Thank you, hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna teach you a cheer today. This is called the alligator chomp. You're gonna put your hands in front of you, open them all the way up. We're gonna count to three, one, two, three, and snap. And as you're snapping your hands down, make sure you say, snap. Ready? One, two, three, snap. Let's do it again. One, two, three, snap. One more time. One, two, three, snap. Good job. I know you guys are young, but it doesn't mean we can't start adding things together. Like I know that sometimes if you have a bunch of cars in front of you, you can have maybe three cars over here and two cars over here. What would happen if you counted all those cars together? You're adding them together. You're adding the three to the two cars 
And if you put them together and you count them out, it makes five. So it's kind of like saying three plus two equals five. So you're adding and you didn't even realize it. So we've got this activity in front of us. And again, you can get this on our website, readingcorneronline.org. But I'm going to have you do some with me, okay? If you can put, can you put two pieces of popcorn in this jar and put two in this jar? And listen, if you don't have these popcorn, this popcorn, or you don't have anything, you can get anything from around your house. A lot of times when my kids were little, I used cereal. So like if you have some Cheerios, just put a little bundle of Cheerios in front of you. And I want you to put two in one pile and two in the other. But for this, we're gonna put two in this bucket. And how many did I say, do you remember? Good memory. I'm gonna put two in this bucket. Okay, now this is where the adding comes together. Because now I want you to add the popcorn in this bucket to the popcorn in this bucket. Can you do it? Let's count it. One, two, three, four. So this is how we would say it. Two plus two equals four. You guys did it. Okay, now take all that popcorn out. Pretend you're eating it. And we're gonna do one more. Okay, are you ready? I want you to listen to me. So this is gonna be a listening activity. I want you to put one piece of popcorn in the first bucket and four pieces of popcorn in the second bucket. Let's try that again. One piece of popcorn in the first bucket, four pieces of popcorn in the second bucket. And again, if you don't have popcorn, use anything. Okay, let's try it. So I've got one piece of popcorn, and then what did I say? Yeah, four. So it's gonna read one plus four equals what? Well, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five. So one plus four equals five. You guys are doing addition. That's like so amazing. You can keep practicing this over and over. I put a couple different um, sentences down here, addition sentences down here, but after you've done those, you can do as many as you want. And remember, every let's say you do five addition problems on this chart. Every five you do, you get to put a sticker on your book chart. Yep. We'll see you in our next video, guys. Great job. Hi, I'm Miss Angie with Reading Corner Online. Welcome. We're gonna work on this activity. It's called Compound Task Mat. Can you point with your finger to the eyeball? Point with me. Let's clap the word eyeball. Eyeball. Good job. Can you point with your finger to the bow tie? Good job. Let's clap the word bow tie. Bow tie. You did it. Good job. Can you point to the teacup. Well done. Let's clap the word teacup. Teacup. <laughs> you did it. Can you point to the snowman? Good job. Let's clap the word snowman. Snowman. Well done. What about the sunglasses? Can you point to the sunglasses? There they are. Let's clap that word. Sunglasses. That word had three syllables. The others only had two, didn't they? Good for you. Last but not least, can you point to the basketball? Hmm, can you find it on your task mat? There it is, you got it, good job. Let's clap this word, basketball. Well done. These two words have three syllables, don't they? The rest of them only had two. Okay, this is where it gets a little trickier. Are you ready for a challenge? We're gonna use our listening ears and we're gonna see if we know our colors, okay? So I'm gonna start with this green rectangle. Can you place 
the green rectangle on the basketball. Go ahead and do it now. Is that what you did? Well done. You did it. All right. Are your listening ears on? Good for you. Can you place the yellow rectangle on the teacup? Does it look like this? My teacup is pink. What color is yours? I like pink too. Can you place your pink rectangle on the eyeball? Go ahead, do it now. What color are your eyes? Mine are green. These ones are blue. All right, you did it. Can you find your blue rectangle and place it on your bow tie? It should look just like this. Your blue rectangle on your green and yellow polka dotted bow tie. Just like this. You did it. All right. Should we do sunglasses or snowman? I think we should do snowman too. Okay. Take your red rectangle and place it on your snowman. Well done. You can do the last one on your own. You did it. Good job. Let's learn a cheer. Do any of you guys do karate? We're gonna learn the karate chop cheer today by Dr. Jean. So you're gonna roll your hands like this and you're gonna say hi. And then the ya part comes in, put your left hand in front of you and make a chop with your right and say chop. Are you ready? Let's do it. Hi, ya. Let's do it two more times. Hi, ya. Hi, yeah. Good job. We did it. Hi, boys and girls. This is Karen from the Reading Corner. Today, we're going to do a fun activity, and we're going to do a couple different things with this. And the reason I do a couple different things with every activity is because I want to show you that even if the directions say to do it one way, you've got so many different ways you can do it. If you want to have access to the activities that we're doing, tell your mom and dad to go to our website, readingcorner.org, and you can actually print out the activities that we're gonna do for every video, which means you can be doing the activity along with me, so it just makes learning a little bit more fun, okay? So, we've got a lot of objects on this page, okay? And so I'm gonna play a couple different games. The first one I'm gonna play is I'm gonna say a word, but I'm gonna say it in two chunks. And I want you to try to find the word that I'm talking about, okay? So I've got a broom and I have a mushroom. The word I'm thinking about is the word mush room. What's that word? Yeah, it's the word mushroom. All right, the two ones that are objects that I'm looking at right now are the word muffin, and, or I'm gonna call it cupcake. Cupcake and mountain. Actually, let's call it muffin. Muffin and mountain. The word I'm thinking of is mountain. Which one is it? Yeah, it's a mountain. Now let me ask you, what object do you think would typically be bigger? A muffin or a mountain? It would have to be a really big muffin to be bigger than a mountain, right? So typically, a mountain is bigger than a muffin. Okay, I'm gonna look at two words, and I want you to tell me which word I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the two words, and I'm gonna tell you the beginning sound. Let me show you what I mean. Monkey, duck. Which of these objects, monkey, duck, starts with the d, d sound. Yeah, it's the word duck. What does a duck make? What sound? Quack, quack. So we've got a duck. Okay, I'm looking at an object. I'm thinking of an object that most of us have in the front of our house and you put mail inside of it. Hmm. 
which object do you see that is in front of your house or apartment or wherever you live and you put mail inside of it? Yeah, it's a mailbox. Can you clap that? Mail box. What sound do you hear at the beginning of mailbox? Mm, you're right, okay. I'm thinking of an object that you, oh, this is hard, you ready? I'm thinking of an object that you look into. Look at all the objects that we have. Do you see an object that you look into? I don't look into a duck. I don't want to look or smell inside a sock. What is this? Yeah, it's a mirror. You look inside a mirror. And when you look inside a mirror, do you know what that's called? What do you see when you look inside a mirror? Yeah, it's called your reflection. Can you say that? Reflection. That's a big word, right? Okay, what sound do you hear at the beginning of mirror? Yeah, it's an M. Okay, so do you see all the different things that we played with? Instead of just doing what the direction said. The directions say to color all the objects that begin with the mmm sound. So now you can work with your parent or your guardian and you can do color all the things that start with the mmm sound. And remember, when you do an activity, you can put a sticker on your book chart. And if you printed this um, activity, like this bundle of activities, there's a, a book chart in there for you. And if you don't know what a book chart is, scroll down through our YouTube and you'll find the video that says book chart and I'll tell you all about it. Now I'm gonna say one more thing before we go. I would like you to try really hard to color inside the lines when you're coloring this. And guys, I don't want you to color it so it looks pretty. I don't care about pretty. What I want you to do is, do you see these little things? These are called your fingers. And your fingers have to get really strong, okay? So when you take the time to color nicely inside of things and try to stay in the lines, it means you're really working hard at making sure that you're building those muscles, okay? What you can do even, this is kind of hard, and it's really hard for some mommies and daddies. I want you to break all your pencils in half, or crayons in half. I know, they're so pretty, but if you break your crayons in half, then you can't hold them like this and you're forced to hold them like this, which means that you're building these. So, you're gonna color all the, the objects that start with the, what sound? Mmm sound. You're gonna try to stay in the lines the best you can so we build those muscles, right? And if you were really brave, you can break your crayons apart, take all that right stuff off of it, and then you have two sets of crayons, and you can color them, your things, with that little bit of grip, okay? Have fun with this. Make sure you put your, act, your stickers on your book chart, and we will see you next time. Hi, let's learn another cheer. This one's one of my favorites. We're gonna take our fingers and point them all the way up on your right side and then drop it down, shake your hips, and move it on to the left side, like this. Can you do that? Try it with me. And then we're gonna sing, that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh, that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh, do it with me. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. Good job. You did it. Hi, boys and girls. It's Ms. Karen from The Reading Corner. Today, we're going to do an activity that's kind of hard because it's a listening activity. It's kind of hard to listen sometimes, isn't it? I have a hard time with it. So, let's just play around and see what our animals are first. This is a pig. What sound do you hear at the beginning of pig? Great job. What animal is this? It's a lion. What sound do you hear at the beginning of lion? Ooh. Ooh, this is a big animal and a big word. This is the word elephant. Can you clap the syllables in elephant? That's kind of hard. Let me do it for you. Watch. Elephant. Can you try that? Elephant. Great job. This is a cow. What sound do you hear at the beginning of K? 
cow. Awesome. Okay. Now, I'm going to say two steps. And then I'm going to say it again for you. Okay, let's try with one first. Can you, listen, you ready? Get those ears on. Okay, open those ears. Can you put the pig on the number three? I'll say it one more time. Can you put the pig on the number three? Did you put the pig on the number three? Yeah. What number is this? Two. What number is this? Four. What number is this? One. And what number is this? Three. Okay, so we put the pig on the number three, okay? It's gonna get more difficult. This time I'm gonna say two steps. And I wanna see if you guys can do both of them. You ready? All right. Can you put the elephant on the number one and the cow on the number two? Let me say it again. Can you put the elephant on the number one and the cow on the number two? Okay, let's see if you're right. I'm gonna put the elephant on the number one and I'm gonna put the cow on the number two. Okay, now I want you to tell me what the last step would be. And I'm gonna listen. Okay, ready? I got it. You said to put the lion on the number four. Okay, you guys did a great job. Can you count how many animals there are? One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right, now you can take those animals off and you can play this game again. You can either have your mom or your guardian or caretaker say it to you, or you can do it and actually have your like friend or guardian or whoever, you can do, make them listen to you and you can have them put them back in order. You guys did such a great job. We'll see you in our next video.